welcome to the first episode of my Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. I thought it might be fitting since the new games were announced of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for a remake for the Switch. So I'm going to be doing a Let's Play Randomized Nuzlocke. So I skipped the beginning, uh, you know, banter stuff for the video about like choosing your name, uh, starting in the house, all that good stuff. So right now we're here in front of the briefcase, ready to choose our Pokemon. So let's see what we got. Everything is randomized. Look, these are Pokeballs. There's a Pokemon in each one. Now choose which one it will be. Elumace? Machop? Or Glalie? Um... Damn, I wish you could see their moveset before you chose them. Um. So if I choose Machop, he's going to choose... On the mix. Um. It's either going to be between, be between Machop or Glalie. I'll choose the Machop. Then I choose you. I'm picking this one. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now listen well. The Pokemon you, you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they are much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me in, at the lab in Sanchum Town. And now, we'll be on our way. The Nuzlocke has not officially started until I get Pokeballs. Professor, wait for me, please. I'm sorry, please let me pass. How do you like that? Professor Rowan's really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. <laughs> Quizzy, we both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you ready for it? Yep. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come, Quizzy. I challenge you to a battle. Oh boy. So which one did you pick? Little Mace? Oh, god damn it. What in the? That one hurt you! Ouch. Oh my god. Elumis was probably the better option. On. No way. We keep. We can keep going. This is where I. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my God! Low kick is move that kind of sucks. Level 6! Okay. Level 7? Oh, wow. Focus energy, there we go. Good lord. Chef Sergio? What are you saying? Phew! Let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs to rest too. See ya, Gweezy.
What's the matter, dear? Wow, that's what happened to you? You and Sergio are lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think of what the wild Pogia might have, might have done to you, too. Queasy, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sanjum Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the tall grass won't be so threatening. Oh, I know. Queasy, put these on. Running shoes. Going to Sanjum Town is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get a, you can get to far away places. You can get to far away places much faster. Let me read you the instructions. Blah blah blah. blah. How to run? Well, isn't that just nifty? Yes, ma'am. Oh, oops. Let's take a look at our matcha. Relaxed nature, no guard, and shows the Pokemon and its foes attacks land. Low kick, leer, and focus energy. Fun. Okay. Too slow, Queasy. I'm sick of waiting. I'm gonna go see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had a great idea. Listen up, okay? You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of that. Me and you together. We've got nothing to fear. Alright then. <clears throat> Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. It even says so on that sign. What's going on? The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon at the lake bed. Allow me to pass. Step aside. What was that about, weird guy? Okay, Queasy, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. Did you hear that, Queasy? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be it. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us. You know, Pokeballs? P-O-K? Accent E-Balls? If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. Do you think Professor Rowan would give us some if we asked him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at the lab if we needed anything. Okay, Queasy, I'll race you. First one to Professor Lab in Sandrum Town rules. Very well. So, none of the encounters up till the point where we get our, poke our first Pokeballs count. So... For example, if I run in here and I find something, I can still catch something for this route because I haven't been given Pokeballs yet, so... Oh, and of course there'd be legends in the grass. Oh my god! There's no way... There's no way I could catch a Regirock. take the experience though good lord what else is in the grass then Altarias wow damn it I'm just trying to talk to the guy Terrios and Regirox just in the grass, that's wild. Wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can they come bust bursting at anyone. So if you wanna if you're wanting a battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you wanna avoid tall grass, then stay out of the tall grass. Damn it. Altaria. Hey there. Get 
can't escape. You better let me escape. Son of a bitch. Is there anything up here? Is there an item over here? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going this way. If your Pokemon's health, that's its HP, is getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Damn it. Just an ulterior fucking infestation over here. All right, Machop, let's get out of here. Hello, person. Do you have anything for me? So we've seen Alteria and Regirock so far. Wonder what else is running around on the screen. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. Did you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. Pokemon's HP gets too low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It will automatically go in the medicine po pocket of your bag. Thanks. God damn it. What else is in this grass besides Altaria's and Regirock? That ledge is one way. Jump down for a shortcut to Twin Leaf Town. Very well. Hey there, Dawn. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our, our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. What the? Oh, it's you, Queasy. That old guy, he's not scary so so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Quizzy. I'm out of I'm out of here. See you later. Uh-huh. Wow, who was that? Your friend sure seems to really be impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Sure. Well well, look who's here. Quizzy was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Well, well, you've made your Pokemon evolve already. Huh? Hmm. I'm trusting you with that Machop was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, sir. This is... This is Deku. Gotta do it. Okay, I see, and you're happy with that nickname? Yep. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. I was astounded, astounded by these foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me into an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Machop feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that, po that Machop of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the cell region. To do so, it is necessary, necessary to collect data using the Pokemon. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on the Pokemon in the Sinnoh for me? Hmm. Good answer. Pokedex. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Quizzy, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walked up Route 1 up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I've lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Queasy, 
grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Chimchar. If you want, if you would have chosen Chimchar in Route 201, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that that matters, but anyway, I'm gone. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex, so in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Izzy. I'm Dawn's father. I'll be happy to assist you on your quest for the professor. <laughs> I'm sure we can count on you. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokedex while working alongside a professor from the Kanto region. Oh, my name is Roseanne. It's an honor to have assistant to be an assistant to our professor. Alright. Quizzy. I have something good here. You should take this as well. This is a technical machine. That one contains the move return. Using technical machine or TM for short teaches a Pokemon instantly. Teaches a move to a Pokemon instantly. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is a single use only. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is with you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that team or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. Oh wow, I didn't know the professor had TMs. Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Queasy, I'll act as your mentor. I'll... I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items with medicine. Queasy, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Quizzy. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping the press your own with the you know, Pokedex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It will be a lot less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Thank you. Alrighty, let's go talk. Well, ready rock again. Deku. XP. Zatsu. Okay. Can't escape. Uh oh. Welcome home, Queasy. Are you and your Pokémon healthy? Take a quick rest here. What is it, Quizzy? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. Oh, I know, Quizzy. I've got something that you you'll find useful. Journal. 
That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dude. Yep, Boozy. I'll be alright by myself. So, you go and enjoy your adventure. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy, too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've got, dear. Excuse me, is my little Sergio here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I... I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Queasy will deliver it to him. Won't you, dear? Oh, really? You do that for me? Queasy, please take this to Sergio for me. Bye-bye, Queasy. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he probably headed headed straight towards Dublife City. Okay, please take that to my Sergio. I'm out of here. Up two oh one. Damn you, Reggie Rock. Bubble Dan. Karate Chop. There we go. Another fighting type move. Altaria. Let's go up. Reggie Rock. Fuck. Every two steps. Okay. So now, the Nuzlocke has officially begun. Now let's buy some potions. Alright. So, let's see what our Route 201 encounter is. Altaria! Why'd I do that? Oh, let's try to catch you.
Better throw another Pokeball, I suppose. Ow. Fucking oh, because it was a crit, it probably killed it. Well, there goes our route to a one encounter. Luckily, it wasn't a Reggie, because I wouldn't have had a chance to catch this thing. Look on me, a few Pokeballs. Crutch up. Onward. We can still get a route to a two encounter though, after we learn how to catch Pokemon. Oh, that's right. Queasy, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one, so just watch me, okay? They do. Very nice. Can I learn how to catch now? That'd be very fun. <laughs> See, isn't that neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. This is because a healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using a Pokemon's move. Okay, Queasy. To get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. Thank you. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on longer trips. Plus, it will be a lot more fun having Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Alright, let's get our Route 202 encounter. It is... Ooh! A Charmander? Yo. That's, that's actually pretty flames. I want to poke the ball right away. Don't want to kill you. Damn you. I really don't want to hit this Charmander in case I kill it. Come on. Charmander, please. I might feel safer using a move on you now that you've lowered my attack. Let's 
still don't feel comfortable. I'll try a premier ball. Some bitch. Okay. We're gonna weaken you now. <clears throat> okay. That should be good. Damn you, Charmander. Please, you'd be a great addition to the team. I have four Pokeballs left. Charmander, please. Charmander. Thank you so much! Oh my god. If you would have broke out of this, I would only had one Pokeball left. Charmander! Fire Lizard Pokemon. The fire on the tip of its tail is a measure of its life. If healthy, its tail burns intensely. You're a male Charmander. Um... Um... I will name you... You know what? Since you're fire, you are mixtape. Because you're straight up fire. Ugh. Let's heal you up first. Pokemon. Let's take a look at mixtape. Careful nature, blaze ability, scratch and growl. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. The video is getting rather long. So we've got Machop named Deku, and we just caught a Charmander that we named Mixtape. Very, very interesting team so far. And with that, I'm going to end the episode here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, you can also suggest names for me that I will uh, name uh, the next Pokemons that I encounter. Um, it's just so it's easier for me. To not have to sit here and think of a name on the fly. So, with that, um, peace out.